Yo, how's it going everybody? In today's video, we're going to be showing you the top 10 outfit glitches in GTA 5 Online. These are super simple and should work on all consoles, all platforms. If this does help you out and you do find yourself coming back here often, please make sure you subscribe as it does help us out a ton. And also a massive shout out to all the new subs. Also, real quick before we get into the video, thanks to U4GM for sponsoring this video. They offer all sorts of modded accounts, billion and a trillion cash, high RP levels, modded cars, modded outfits, and fast run. If you're interested, check out the link in the description for more services. And also do not forget, to use my code Wheezy for 5% off when you're checking out. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoy, back to the video. So head over into the back of your MOC and then head over to your mobile operations terminal. And you want to go in there and you want to start up a mission called Work Dispute. There is a few missions you have to do when before you unlock the Work Dispute mission. But it is a little bit of a grind, but I mean, they're well worth it for the job because they're pretty cool. So um, yeah, if you have that unlocked, start that up and uh, invite a friend. If you're not sure uh, of people to play with, then uh, join up my Discord. I'll be, uh, there will be heaps of people in there to uh, help you out with this mission. So when you do start this mission up, if you start the mission, you get the black joggers. If you join the mission, you get the red joggers. So if you can find someone on the Discord or have a friend that has this mission unlocked, you get them to start it up and do the exact same thing that I show you in this video. But when you join, instead of having the black joggers on, you'll have the red joggers on. So when you load in, you should see you have the black joggers on and the person to your right will have the red joggers on. So what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your apartment. Now this won't show up on your map, you just, you have to know where your apartment is. <laughs> I mean the game's been out for quite some time, hopefully, hopefully you know where it is by now. So make your way to your apartment. Once you get over to your apartment, if you just walk into the blue circle, it won't let you in. So you just want to blow yourself up. And then once you respawn, you'll be able to walk straight into your apartment. So yep, now we've respawned, we'll just run straight over to our apartment and uh, save the outfit. Just make sure your teammate doesn't die or you don't, uh, you don't die again because this only works for uh, if you're on normal difficulty for one person. If you put it on easy, then both players can do it, so you have two team lives. But yeah, just be aware of that. So once you load it into your apartment, it's basically the tail end of the glitch. You can uh, go save the outfit, and that'll be yours to change up and keep, and make whatever modded black outfits you want to make with it. As mentioned, this also does work for the Red Joggers, so for the Red Joggers just join and do the exact same thing. And uh, yeah, you'll have the Red Joggers. So yeah, these are the real Black Joggers, so we can change the shoes and get the floating ankles, change the top. But yeah, if you change the pants, you'll obviously lose the pants, so make sure you don't do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can go back over to your outfit and equip your Black Joggers. So first off, you want to head over to any clothing store, and make sure you're wearing the outfit that you want the belt on. Then head over to the top section and go to utility vests and equip number 43, the peach plate carrier. When you save the outfit, make sure you don't have any helmet or mask on. After you have the outfit with the peach plate carrier, you want to go head over to the outfit section and go to heist coveralls and grab one of these bottom four. Any with the gas mask will be fine. From there, we're just going to merge this gas mask outfit to our outfit we saved with the peach plate carrier. So just head over to the pier and do the telescope glitch. So if you're not sure what the telescope glitch is, all you have to do is just have that fumigator outfit on, run past spamming right on the d-pad, and then open your interaction menu, and just change your outfit to the one you saved. So as you can see, the gas mask has merged with our outfit. You can head over to the mask store to save it, but usually with this glitch I like to head over to the gun store because it makes it a bit quicker for the next part. So once you're over there, just save the outfit. And once you've done that, just go into your pause menu, go to play job, Rockstar created, and start. It's a Titan of a job. So once the job is started, because we're already at the gun store, you can just save the outfit here.
So once we load back in, your outfit should look like this, with the chest plate disappeared. Now you just want to equip any outfit with a belt. If you don't have a belt, I have a video on the card above on how to get an outfit with a belt. From there, you just want to start up It's a G Thing. It's bookmarked in the pinned comment below. From there, you will need to invite a friend and make sure you have your settings set to player saved outfits. And once you've loaded in, you just want to switch over to the outfit you saved. Once you load in, just wait a couple seconds and leave the job. When you load back into free mode, you still see you have the outfit with the belt on. So you want to register as the CEO and then go to the nearest streetcar. When you register as the CEO, you want to open up your interaction menu before you get into the car and make sure you just hover over style. And when you get in, change your CEO style, one to the right, then one back to the left, and get out of the car. From there you'll see your gun belt has merged with your outfit. From here you can save the outfit, and put on helmets and duffel bags, masks. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is head over to your Terabyte and go over to the touchscreen. While registered as the CEO, open up this, and uh, you want to head over to Client Jobs. In here there will be a job called Robbery in Progress, and you want to start that up. So once that starts up, you've got to go back to the computer and scan all the cameras to find out where it's at. So just flick through the cameras and find whereabouts your robbery is. So once you find it, just scroll around until the option for the going to the interior comes up. Once you've found your robbery, I find the easiest way just to jump on an impressor and fly over to where it is. So when we get over there, there is a couple people, but the oppressor can handle them pretty easily. And uh, also when you walk in there, there will be a juggernaut that spawns. So be mindful of that. And uh, what I usually do is just sit here on the oppressor and just pump rockets inside <laughs> until, uh, until they're gone. And now they've been handled, you should be able to run inside and grab your duffel bag. So from here, all you need to do is just lose the police and head over to the destination that's given to you on the map. But when you head over to the destination, you'll need to be mindful of not just flying straight into the circle. You'll need to jump off your oppressor and land and parachute into the yellow circle. Yeah, just like this. If you are having trouble with parachuting, you can hold L1 and R1 or both your bumpers to make it a little bit easier and more controllable. So we're not done just yet. So now we need to head over to the gun store, any ammunition. And when you get over here, you just need to equip any parachute bag on your parachute and make sure that's equipped. Also, this does work with any parachute bag, so it doesn't have to be a certain parachute bag for this to work. So for me, because I'm from little old Australia, I'm going to equip the Aussie parachute bag. Now the final step for this video, you need to head down to the mask store and fly up above it. Jump out of your flying vehicle, whether that be an oppressor or a helicopter, and parachute your way down and you want to land right on the bench out the front and spam right on the D-pad. If you get into the menu and you're able to save your outfit, then you've nailed it. Also just a pre-warning, I messed up this part three times trying to record this, so if you do mess it up, it does still work. You can just try it again, and then, as you can see, you should have the black duffel bag on your outfit. First of all, you want to head over to any clothing store on the map, and make sure you're wearing the outfit that you want to put the vest on. And then uh, head over to utility vests, and head down to number 43, you want to put on the peach plate carrier. If for whatever reason, whatever you're wearing won't let you equip the peach plate carrier, you can head over to D designer shirts, and equip number 59 black print t-shirt. This will work the exact same way as the utility vest will, but it just works as an undershirt instead of an overshirt like the utility vest. So yeah, right here, number 59, the black print t-shirt in designer t-shirts. Once you've done that, make sure you're not wearing a helmet and save your outfit. Now from here, you will need two other outfits. So back out and then go back to the browse outfit, outfit section and then go down to heist coveralls and you want one of the bottom four. Any of these will work fine. So equip that. As for the vest part of it, if you don't have the Trass vest or the CEO vest or anything like that saved, um, you can go over to the Los Santos Tuners section and grab one of the dock worker outfits there. Yeah, so one of these four. 
So yeah, save those for later, and for now we're going to need the fumigator outfit, and we're going to head over to the telescope on the pier and do the telescope glitch, and merge this with the outfit that we just saved the peach plate carrier on. If you don't know the telescope glitch, just run past the telescope spamming right on the d-pad, and as long as your guy doesn't look into the telescope, then you've hit it properly. So open up your interaction menu, and change over to the outfit, and you're good to go. As you can see, the gas mask has merged to the outfit. So once you've done that, just head over to any gun store on the map. This one right here is the closest. Once you get down to the gun store, just save your outfit. Alright, so now the outfit has been saved, you want to open up your pause menu and go into online, play jobs, and go down into Rockstar Created and go into missions and you want to start up it's a titan of a job once you've loaded in just spam through the alerts and start that up and you can do this part completely solo you don't need to invite a friend so once you load in the whole reason we make you go to the gun store make this part a whole lot quicker so when you load into the mission you can just turn straight around and save the outfit right here as you can see the peach plate carrier has disappeared which is perfect that's exactly what we need for the glitch so once you've done that, you're good to just leave the job through your phone. When you've loaded back in, your outfit should look like this, with the peach plate carrier or the t-shirt disappeared. So what we need to do now is just equip the any outfit that has a vest on it. So like I showed you at the start of the video, the dock worker vest. For me, I've got the trash vest right here, so we're going to use that one. And once you have that on, then you just want to start up It's a G thing. I have that link down below for you. That should be under bookmarked and then missions. It's a G thing. You will need to invite a friend for this part. So when you load in, really important that you make sure the clothing is set to player saved outfits. And once you've done that, you should be fine to start off the job. So what you need to do here is just switch over to the outfit that we have saved earlier. This is the outfit that the vest will be transferred onto. So once you've loaded into that, just move around and wait a couple of seconds and then you should be safe to leave through your phone. Alright, final part and most important part of the glitch. When you go back into free mode, register as a CEO and be next to any streetcar. Once you've done that, open up your interaction menu again, go back to management, hover over style, then hop into the street vehicle, click on style, and then switch one to the right and one back to the left, and then you're safe to get out of the vehicle. As you can see, the vest has merged onto our outfit, and then from here, you're good to save it. Now you want to open up your pause menu, go to jobs, play job, bookmark, and go down and start the duffel bag job I have linked in the description down below. It should be under duffel bag by Husky. You just have to read the description on the bottom right side to make sure you get the right colour. So start that up and invite a friend. Once you've done that and you've loaded into the game, open up your interaction menu and go down to illuminated clothing and just scroll through that for about 25 to 30 seconds. After scrolling through for 30 seconds, just leave the job and when you load back in, you should see you have the duffel bag. So as you can see, we have the open duffel bag because we were player 2 when we joined this time. So now you just want to grab any flying vehicle and fly over to the mask store on the spooky beach. So uh, yeah, get your flying vehicle, a presser or a sparrow or whatever. Uh, Brob authorities just in case you're in a helicopter because it can trigger the cops and mess up the glitch uh, Yeah, and jump out parachute your way down to the mask store And you want to land right on that bench out the front and as you're landing be spamming right on the d-pad as quick as you can If you find parachuting a little bit tricky what I tend to do is uh, hold both my bumpers L1 and R1 or L LB and RB on Xbox and it slows you down quite nice as you can see here Then we can run straight into it and just be spamming right as quick as we can so even though my parachute kind of come off and it looks like I didn't hit it quick enough, luckily it still worked. <laughs> so yeah, as long as you can get to that before your parachute comes off, you should be fine. So once you save it, the outfit won't pop up and you just have to uh, re-equip it for it to show. So first off, you'll need to bookmark the job below, power play, and then start that up. Just go into jobs, play job, bookmark, and then you should find it in last team standing. Once you've loaded in, just invite a friend and start the job.
Once you've loaded in, you should see you have the orange joggers and orange bulletproof helmet. So to save this, you just need to open up your interaction menu and go to appearance and just change your gloves. Once you've done that, you can just leave the job using your phone. When you load back into free mode, you should have the outfit. So just go to any ammunition or clothing store to save the outfit. So for the purple joggers, you have to do pretty much the exact same thing, but you have to have your friend invite you to the same mission. So your friend has to bookmark the job and they can start it. So once you've loaded in, just open up your interaction menu again, go to appearance, change your gloves, and then leave the job. Save the outfit and you're all done. Just a quick heads up, this is only a PC method. This is currently not working for any console, Xbox or PS5. Also, so I said, as long as you got that job that I have in the, in the pinned comment and in the description bookmarked, you should be able to go into your jobs tab and go to bookmarks, last team standing and the pink job is job right here. So when you start that one up, you just need to invite a friend. And once they join and you've loaded into the game, then uh, all you really need is an earpiece or something extra that you can change, whether that be a glove or an earpiece. Try to not to change the helmet because you will lose the helmet if you do that. But uh, yeah, once you're in, open up your interaction menu, go down to appearance and go to accessories. And here you can change just to an earpiece or like a set of gloves or something. And as soon as you do that, you can yeah just find a new session, leave through your phone, whatever way you want to do it. Just uh, yeah, leave the mission as soon as you've done that. When we load back in, we should see that we have the pink joggers and the pink bulletproof helmet, like the whole outfit from that mission. So from here, you should be able to just save the outfit or mod it in whatever way. So what you want to do, you want to have a, head over to jobs, play job, bookmarked, and go down to last team standing, and then scroll down to where it says Noose Police by Husky70. If, uh, if you're the first one to load in, you will get the Noose outfit with Police logo on the back, and if you're the second one to load in, you will get the noose outfit with noose written on the back. So whatever one you want, you and a friend can um, can you know swap around and change and get whatever one you guys are after. So once you start up the mission, just uh, invite a friend, and you'll be able to start that up. If you're looking for people to play with, do join up the Discord. There'll be people in there that can help you out. And uh, yeah, so once you invite a friend, start that up. So as you're loading in and readying up, you won't see the outfit just yet. Once you get fully on the aircraft carrier, then you'll see the full outfit. And uh, once you do load in, open up your interaction menu, go to appearance, and uh, just whack on that earpiece that I mentioned at the start of the video. Which will be under appearance, accessories, and then gear. As you can see, we've put on that little earpiece, so now we're safe to leave the job. You can just use your phone and quit the job. When you load back in, you're pretty much safe to save the outfit and do whatever you please with it. And then head over to bookmarks and go to last team standing. And the job name is a bit weird, it just says job name, so you want to keep an eye on the description on the bottom right side where it says blue only or green only for whatever paramedic outfit you're trying to get. So when you join up the job, when you load up the job, uh, if you load it up, you'll get the paramedic outfit that has the like the stethoscope where you can read your heartbeat um, around his neck. And if you join the job, you'll get the belt. So in this one, I have the uh, one with the stethoscope. And uh, later on in the job, I'll show you what it looks like to join and what the paramedic outfit with the belt looks like, which you need for a lot of belt glitches in the game. So once you've loaded in to save this, you just want to make your way over to appearance and go to accessories and whack on that LSPD earpiece. Then just leave the job using your phone. So once you've loaded back in, all you want to do is just go save the outfit and it's free to do whatever you want. You can do the, do the uh, transfer glitch to get the stethoscope thing onto other outfits, but just for the uh, sake of the video, I'm going to show you what it's like to join the mission and then the other outfit. So this time around I joined the mission, my friend just hosted it, 
it was the same one. Um, yeah, and as you can see, we got the paramedic outfit with the actual paramedic belt and the UHF and stuff. This one, a lot of people use for a lot of cool modded outfits. It's uh, a lot more sought after. It's yeah, pretty cool. So um, yeah, same thing. Just go into your interaction menu, equip that earpiece, and then leave the job using your phone. So now we're loaded back in, you can see we got the paramedic outfit. So all you need to do now is just save that. So you can go to any ammunition, clothing store, or any apartment to save that. Um, also, I'm just going to quickly run over and show you guys the earpiece that you need to uh, to be able to do this and the, the new soundtrack glitch as well. So any of these grey, red, or LCD earpiece. So uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys liked this video. If that helped you out or you enjoy it, um, please do hit us up with a sub.